Hey guys, welcome to the Where Are They Now series, where we talk to Hillcrest graduates to find out where are they now. Today's guest is a recent graduate and it's going to be familiar to many of you. So let's listen up. All right, well, welcome. Thanks so much for agreeing to do this interview. Um, why don't we start it out? Could you just tell us your full name and what year you graduated? Oh, yeah, yep. Um, my name is Deeglin DeVille and I graduated in 2019. Wow, so recently, right? Yeah. School yeah. captain. Yeah, yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, now I'm, I was school captain last year, so you know, I was, I was really glad that I was able to serve in the way that I did last year. What have you been up to, uh, I guess, since you graduated? I've been at university, at Swinburne University, doing a Bachelor of Aviation, which and then, um, basically, uh, for those who don't know, aviation is aeroplanes. And um, and I've been doing the professional piloting stream, so I've been getting to fly planes as part of my uni. I was wondering if you had any sort of funny memories that you wanted to share with us uh, from your time at Hillcrest, maybe even involving staff members that are still here. There were some crazy things that went on in our year level where some teachers would, um, would remember, um, probably not so happily. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, yeah, and I was um, I was involved in the human powered vehicle team as well, so we had good fun. We had good fun with that as well, you know, with um, tipping water on um, on teachers and yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Good fun. <laughs> Did you ever sort of get into trouble when you were back at school? And do you have any stories of um, detentions or buckets or anything like that? Um, from what I remember, I didn't really get into too much trouble. Um, there was one time that, um, that there was, um, there's this one other guy in my year level, James, and, um, I accidentally broke his arm once in PE. <laughs> accidentally? <laughs> and I think that's the biggest trouble that I've got into, which is fairly understandable. <laughs> yeah. And now, yeah, and how, um, yeah, we were in the NPC and then and how, um, he ran into the wall and I ran straight into the back of him and crushed his arm against the concrete wall and broke his arm. <laughs> Oh, ouch. Uh, yeah, that, that was not fun. And I, I still feel really bad <laughs> bad about that to this day. Do you have uh, any really fond memories from your time at Hillcrest? Um, yeah, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of fond memories. Um, I, of course, you know, I love doing the HPV stuff and a lot of the opportunities came at Hillcrest that you wouldn't get anywhere else. So I was involved with Equestrian for a number of years. And I was also um, doing stuff with the Sheep team for a little bit as well. And on, on how, um, of course, I was um, I was doing leadership across the school, you know, throughout my entire time at Hillcrest. And then um, I was also doing a lot of stuff to do with chapel and to do with the audio and lighting with the um, with the chapel stuff. And yeah, and how yeah, I, a lot of the opportunities came at Hillcrest that I wouldn't have got anywhere else, which I'm so thankful for. And um, yeah, especially with the chapels, you know, I really loved doing the chapels and serving in that. That way. Well, how was your relationship with God back uh, when you're at school, say in year nine, ten, and that um, compared to how it is now? In year nine and ten, on how um, I think that was more when I was just trying to find out who I was as a person, really. And I think that that's, that's true for a lot of people, where you know, when you reach that kind of year nine and ten stage, um, you're more trying to find out who you are as a person, you know, and what you want to do with your life. And um, I think that was the most important thing back then. And, you know, and there was a lot of, there was a couple of times that I really did um, just put faith in the back burner for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, then, and then, you know, trying to figure out what I want to do and everything. But it was only when, um, it was really when I was in year 11 and um, I was in Vetamorphos um, back then and how, um, I really kind of just took a step back and just prayed about it and just said, um, God, you know, what do you want me to do kind of thing? You know, who do you want me to become? And that really helped me grow spiritually. And um, that's really helped set me up for everything that, um, that I do now, you know, because of how, um, so these days now I'm at the university and how um, I'm working with a group called Power to Change. Mm -hmm. And um, some people may know them. Um, they used to be called Campus Crusade. Yeah. So and how um, you know? So they're helping to spread the word of God as well. And I'm also um, involved with uh, the uh, Christian Union at the university as well. But then um, I've also become involved with Planet Shakers Church as well. So okay. and how um, 
is certainly how, you know, um, I feel like as if I've grown heaps and especially with my time at Hillcrest, it's really helped set me up, you know, with the groundwork of what I need to, you know, what I, you know, kind of like just telling me it's a step back, you know, God has it in his control and, you know, just talk to God about what, you know, about what he wants you to do. As a closing thought, um, building on that, did you have any, uh, I guess, advice or maybe Bible verses that you would share with our current Hillcrest students? Take the time to stop and pray. In these times, you know, how could it hurt just taking, you know, just two seconds out of your time and just, you know, just to pray, you know, God, you know, what do you have? What do you want me to do? Some Bible verses that may help some of the students. Numbers chapter six, verse 24 to 26. In the NIV version, it says, um, the Lord bless, Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. My favorite verse comes from Psalm chapter 46, verse 10. And it says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And the main part for me is that first little section, be still and know that I am God. You know, it's just something that is just so peaceful. You know, just take a step back and go and say, hey, okay, you know, God has the situation. That was awesome, Deaglin. Thank you so much. That was full of uh, lots of wisdom. And I think you're wise beyond your years. <laughs> Uh, we really, really appreciate that, mate, and uh, we wish you all the best for your future, and, um, and thanks so much.